SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we're going to be speed testing a task today on this video. Uh, what I want to do is I want to pin up two networks against each other. I want to do the two networks that really do, uh, you know, push the narratives of speed, reliability, you know, they're ultra fast networks, whether it's 5G ultra wideband from Verizon or it's the 5G ultra capacity from T-Mobile. They're the ones you hear talking the most about their 5G networks. So let's go ahead and test them. And here is the setup for this test. I put the devices near a window. That way we know that we're getting a good strong signal. I wanted to show you guys the performance of the network. I just ran three speed tests on T-Mobile on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And, you know, it was ranging between like 700 downlink and like, I don't know, like 750 or something. Uplink is ranging between like 15 and 30 megabits on the uplink. So I kind of already have a, an idea of what the uplink is like, but let's put it to usage to a task. Let's upload a, it's an almost five minute file, uh, video file that I'm going to be uploading to the channel. So a realistic task and, and speed test, well, speed checking the task of completion time. All right, so we're going to do the 5G Ultra Capacity Network from T-Mobile, and then we're going to test it up against Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband on Hotspot. All right, I wanted to kind of throw that wrinkle in there because sometimes I have to upload content and I have to do it on a hotspot because another carrier might not have the adequate uplink. Ahem, at and <laughs> But anyways, that's what I want to do. Let's compare the on-device data for T-Mobile, direct device uplink here using this phone, Google Pixel 6, uh, 7 Pro, and then I'll hotspot for my iPhone 14 Pro Max, the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband hotspot, and we'll upload the same file and time it. All right, we got the Moto Razor 5G Plus thingy, Moto Razor Plus, is it called? Whatever. That phone here, it'll be doing our timing for us, and then we got the Google Pixel 7 Pro for the device upload to YouTube, and then the Verizon hotspot from the uh, 5G Ultra Wideband network connection on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So that's our setup, and let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and set up everything now, and let me just go ahead and turn up the brightness so you guys can see stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is on. We need our timer. Or right, let's go ahead and set up our upload. All right, so what you want to do is go into the app. Okay, so here is our file that we're going to upload, and I'm just going to put test. And we are uploading, right? It's doing the preparation. We'll count preparation time as well. That usually only takes like 15 seconds. All right, so we're off and away. And it says on the T-Mobile network, this should take 21 or 22 minutes. We shall see if that is indeed the case. All right, it is updated. It now says 24 minutes remaining. We'll find out. I've got the timer running. This video will not be disrupted except for edits for the sake of time. Uh, I'm going to fast forward it. I'll put on 100x for you guys here, but uh, you'll see it right there. 23 minutes remaining. The timer is going. We'll see if that is true to life. And actually what we'll do is I'll get the exact file size for you guys, and then we can calculate you know, and compare the uplink on the speed test right, to the actual uplink in real-world usage. Anyways, we'll be back. Let's fast forward it. We'll see you guys in a... I bet. <laughs> All right, and there it is, folks. The test upload just finished. Uh, it did indeed take 23 minutes. All right, so it came in at 23 minutes, 26 seconds. Take off the first 15 seconds for that processing you're basically at 23 minutes. And I think when we first started the upload, it said between 21 and 24 minutes. So we fell right in there. So it basically held uh, to the prediction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete the upload. We are going to re-upload the video once we get the devices all synced up and connected on the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband tethering and mobile hotspot data. Let me go ahead and get everything set up. And then we'll be back to convene in this video for part two of the testing. All right, Nation, we are back for part two of the testing. We're putting the Pixel 7 Pro uplink test or upload test uh, now with the 
Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband Connection from my iPhone 14 Pro Max, you will see that little green icon there saying that a device is connected. Within the uh, connection log, it does say Sneed's iPhone. No manipulation on my part. I have absolutely nothing at stake here <laughs> to cheat you guys or to try to deceive you in any way. This is strictly from an iPhone 14 Pro Max on a Verizon Unlimited plan with the 5G Ultra Wideband hotspot to this phone. We're going to time it now, and we're going to compare it to the on-device data of the T-Mobile uh, upload. And that was uh, just over 23 minutes. So let's go ahead and do this very similar to the T-Mobile uh, throughput for Uplink. Uh, we'll see how it turns out here with the actual upload. It's the same thing, 4 minutes, 42 seconds. And we're just going to go ahead and call this test. And we'll start the clock as it does the preparation. Again, that usually takes about 10 or 15 seconds. We'll see if that is indeed the case. It looks like it's actually moving a little faster than the T-Mobile one. By a couple of seconds. And we're off. We're at a 0% upload, so it's actually started. And we already see here, we've got 1% uploaded. And it does say that we have about 6 minutes remaining. So this is going to be a much more expedited upload from what I could tell, if the app is actually accurate. We're already at 4, approaching 5% on the uplink. This is great. I'm very happy with the outcome. Uploading very, very fast. All right, so this is interesting. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward for you guys here. No disruptions unless uh, unless it's a needed edit. All right, we'll fast forward here. Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband Hotspot from the iPhone being timed, connecting on the Pixel, uploading a what I assume is like a 2 gig file. All right, four, four minutes, 44 seconds, 4K video. All right, guys, there you have it. We're just a tick under eight minutes. We're at like seven minutes, 50 seconds or something, whatever. Uh, that is a very expedited upload. That is really good performance. Uh, so from Verizon, I want to kind of share something with you guys. And, you know, I think it's important to the testing and what we're trying to accomplish here. All right. Let's go to our results. And let's take a look at what the speed tests were. Right. So if you look at the testing here, these three tests is what I took before I started, uh, you know, the T-Mobile upload test. You got 21 megabits per second uplink, 18, 19, right? So we're approaching the 20 megabit mark. Here with Verizon, we were closer to 29 megabits per second, right? And, you know, when I look at that result, I'm not sure if that should have taken that long for T-Mobile. And it's about, you know, 50% faster with respect to the uplink speed. But it wasn't, it didn't take 50% longer. It took three times longer. Right, so there definitely is some kind of an inefficiency with respect to the network, right? You'll see that, you know, the uplinks from Verizon coming in between like 27 and 28 megabits. So, I don't know, take it as you will. Uh, I would have expected T-Mobile to maybe come in a little bit faster, maybe closer to, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, maybe 15 minutes tops. So there definitely is some kind of an inefficiency in terms of the network routing and how the data packets are being transferred. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's backhaul related. I don't know if it's systems related. I have no clue. I, I don't know. All I know is that there was a disconnect between what I expected from the T-Mobile network based on the speed test and how it actually performed. And then with Verizon as the benchmark because it was faster, I kind of pinned it up against that in my expectations Maybe the T-Mobile test should have been a little bit faster. But I think this is meaningful, right? I think this is a meaningful test. Instead of just speed testing Ookla, you actually get a real-world example of something that someone would do on the network that isn't Ookla speed testing. Now, I, I Ookla speed test all the time. I just don't think it should be the only thing that we test, right? As you could see, the Ookla speed test doesn't always equate to the real-world usage. And I think this was an indication of that. And if you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, subscribe for more content just like this and comment and let me know what you liked about the testing, your impressions on the testing, the difference between Verizon, 
5G ultra wideband hotspot versus on device data from T Mobile. I thought that was kind of an important kicker, too, right? On device data from T Mobile versus hotspot data from Verizon. I think the expectation should be a little bit different, no? All right? So I'm a little disappointed in T Mobile there. It would have been nice to see them a little faster. And I'm impressed by Verizon's 5G ultra wideband on hotspot. That's not even the actual on device data. Impressive stuff. But what say you? Tell me your thoughts and impressions on this test and anything else you would like to see here from the channel. Big shout out to our patrons and our YouTube members for making testing like this possible. Thank you all for your continued support, and we shall see you all on the next video. Peace.